Hi, and welcome back. So today I'm going to cover a study that I read which relates to taurine. Researchers at the National Institutes of Health, that's the NIH, have found that levels of circulating taurine, a conditionally essential amino acid involved in multiple biological functions, is unlikely to serve as a good biomarker for the aging process. In blood samples from humans, monkeys and mice, they found that circulating taurine levels often increased or remained constant with age. Analysis of longitudinal data showed that individual differences in taurine levels often exaggerated age-related changes. The researchers also found that taurine levels were inconsistently associated with health outcomes across age, species and cohorts. This hints that declining taurine levels are not a universal marker of aging. Instead, its impact may depend on individual factors such as genetic, nutritional and environmental. The results were published in the journal Science in a paper titled Is Taurine an Aging Biomarker? Taurine has recently gained popularity as a dietary supplement because of recent longevity research. This research found that supplementation with taurine improved multiple age-related traits and extended lifespan in model organisms, those being worms and mice. However, there is no solid clinical data that shows its supplementation actually benefits humans. Rafael de Cabo, PhD, study co-author and chief of the translational gerontology branch of the NHS said a recent research article on taurine led us to evaluate this molecule as a potential biomarker of aging in multiple species. The researchers measured taurine concentration in longitudinal collected blood from participants from the Baltimore Longitudinal Study of Aging. These people were aged between 26 and 100. Also from rhesus monkeys that were aged between 3 and 32 years and mice that were aged between 9 and 27 months. Taurine concentrations increased with age in all groups, except in male mice, in which taurine remained unchanged. Similar age-related changes in taurine concentrations were observed in two cross-sectional studies of geographically distinct human populations. Firstly, from the Balearic Islands study on aging. Here we've got participants who were aged between 20 and 85, and this comes from the Balearic region of Mallorca in Spain and the Predictive Medicine Research Cohort, with a cohort that was aged between 20 and 68, and these came from Atlanta, Georgia, as well as in the cross-sectional arm of the study for longitudinal aging in mice. Maria Amelia Fernandez, PhD, also study co-author and postdoctoral fellow of the Translational Gerontology Branch at the NIA added, we used longitudinal cross-species data across the lifespan under normal conditions. This aimed to clarify how taurine levels change with age as a biomarker for aging, a key advance for aging research. The researchers also found the relationship between taurine and muscle strength or body weight was also inconsistent. For example, analysis of gross motor function highlights the limitations of considering solely circulating taurine changes as indicative of biological aging. This comparatively low motor function performance can be associated with either high or low concentrations of taurine, whereas in other cases, no relationship at all is found between these specific variables. Luigi Ferrucci, MD, PhD, and study co-author and scientific director at the NIA emphasized that identifying reliable biomarkers to predict the onset and progression of aging and functional decline would be a major breakthrough, enabling more effective, personalized strategies to maintain health and independence into old age. On a personal note, I'd be interested to see if any of you watching this video have started to take taurine. There's been a lot of chatter about this specific supplement in the longevity community. Now, I have been keeping an eye on taurine to see if there were any notable results from anti-aging studies, especially if they were in humans. But to be honest, there was a lot of interest in taurine initially, but it seems to have fizzled out somewhat of late. So if you do take it and you've seen some positive benefits, I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. Now, it would be hypocritical of me to say don't take taurine because there haven't been enough studies in humans yet, because 
If you followed my journey from the start, you'll know I started to take NMN well before the first human study was actually completed. So if you are interested in toying, I'll link a far more detailed video at the end of this video. Now, of the big three, Renew Bioscience, Do Not Age and Pro Health Longevity, only Pro Health carry taurine at the moment. And if you're looking for a reputable supplier and you do choose Pro Health Longevity, please feel free to use the code MYNMN at checkout to get 15% off. And there's a link in the description below to Pro Health's taurine supplement. So as we know, NAD levels drop with age and to boost our NAD levels, we take an NAD booster such as NMN or NR. The thinking was this was similar with taurine and to stop taurine dropping as we age, we would take taurine as a supplement. This study seems to show that there's no benefit from taking taurine because taurine doesn't necessarily, as NAD does, decline with age. Let me know what you think in the comments section below.